Dear Stephanie, we were just supposed to go to the baseball game. You, me, and that boyfriend you've been wanting me to meet. Day of, you say he's moved. I chuckle. I always knew you were lying. Weeks later, your cheeks became the new habitat for your tears. Crying and makeup don't go together, so you just stopped wearing makeup. It was too messy. You hid yourself in the various rooms of your preferred teachers instead of sitting with us at lunch. I can't say that I blame you. You became the butt of every joke. Our insecurities we projected onto you. You paid the price for our immaturity. You deserved better friends. You deserved better from me. You deserved so much better. Months later, after crying your sockets dry, you confided in us. That boyfriend I didn't believe existed had been killed. This reminded you too much of your father's passing. This was last year. Now, we don't speak much, you don't say much, but you use your body as your megaphone. I could read the raspberry scars along the porcelain flesh of your forearm like braille. It reads, have mercy, a hand-carved message from your body to your mind. Small bald spots are, the, are morse coded about the curvature of your skull where desperate fingers found victims in the strands of your hair. Your body pleads with your mind to stay in control. Don't let the darkness win. I can read your story across the maps of your body. You cross continents daily. But I can't seem to turn the page. I just keep thinking. I've known you forever, but I know nothing about you. Maybe if I had intervened sooner, said something loved better, things wouldn't be this bad. P.S. I'm sorry, and I wish it were enough. I'm here now, and I wish that were enough. <laughs> 